सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल ऑफ बी टेनिक्स एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग रियली वेल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दैट हाउ वी कैन इंटीग्रेट ओपन ए आई जी पी टी थ्री विद द डेटा बेस एंड फॉर द डेटा बेस वी आर गोइंग टू टेक आर यूट्यूब कॉमेंट्स एंड द फर्स्ट स्टेप टू इंटीग्रेट आर जी पी टी विद द डेटा बेस इज वी फर्स्ट नीड टू एक्सेस यूट्यूब फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी नीड टू डू इज दैट वी नीड टू एक्सेस यूट्यूब ए पी आई एंड बिफोर डूइंग दैट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट यू टू नो दैट वी हैव एन ए आई टूल्स वर्कशॉप दैट इज जस्ट अवेलेबल फॉर नाइन रुपीज एंड द लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेक इट आउट एंड द मोर डिटेल्स आर गिवन अड इन द वीडियो वर्किंग प्रोफेशनल इफ यू हैव एंड अपन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री दैन दिस इज द लास्ट चांस फॉर यू इन ऑर्डर टू हाइक यूर सैलरी इन ऑर्डर टू बिकम रिप्लेसिबल इन द जॉब मार्केट एंड इन ऑर्डर टू गेन मोस्ट इन डिमांड स्किल यस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्किल ऑफ चैट जी पी So let's start the video. So we need to use the Google API to do this. We'll be jumping on the Google Cloud platform, and we'll use the API version three, which we'll use, and simply enable it, which is something you can do if you press this button just over here. And next, I'll need an API key. I'll head over to Manage and head over to Credentials and generate a new one. I'll make sure that this is private, and I won't share this with anyone. The entire internet. So now I'm going to open up VS Code and create a new file called index.js. Question ahead. I do go through this quite quickly, but if you get stuck at any point or if you need to backtrack, feel free to do so. Next, I'll install Google APIs by running npm. Install Google APIs with that, and I'm going to require it in the project. Passing it in constant Google equal requires Google API. I just want to access YouTube, so I'll pass it in constant YouTube equals Google dot YouTube. Passing in the version as well as my API key with that, and now I can call the YouTube API and this specific method. I want to call is that the one gets the comment, so I am going to pass in comments thread. I want to pull this out as a list, so I'll add it in dot list, and finally I just need to add a few parameters, which includes a part snippet as well as the video URL. I'll do some quick error handling, and if there are no errors, then I'll console log out. Then I'll log out the data packet, and now let me get the unique ID for the videos, and that's just the ID that you find at the top of the URL whenever you are viewing a YouTube video, and I'll paste that in. and then i'll run the node and check if it it actually worked and it did here's my response including all the items and objects which i assume are the comments and let me see if i can spit this out in the file i'm going to import fs from the fs library and then i'm going to pass it in data dot items where the object has all the comments and then i'm going to convert this into a string field json which i want to write to a file called comments dot json and then i'm going to log it out and say the file has been saved running not js creates the file here comments dot json and i can see it's been saved let's have a look at it now opening up the file actually showcases a lot of information and most of this is actually kind of hard to read i am going to make it more beautiful by running a shortcut called beautify it's an extension in vs code and this cleans up the files adding an indentation with the vs code and it also adds the color in as well so now it's quite easy to read the very first comment is my own me trying to promote my own little products here a gpt starter kit and open ai templates there were few other comments all of these weren't very useful because i was not sure what people were trying to say but i did stumble across at this one over here which is a perfect example of a question that that i could reply to so now let me see if i can put this into a database so that i can so that i have to constantly call the api in order to do any functionality i am going to use a single store so we need to set up our database on single store and before doing that i just want to have a small talk with you so you all might know that ai has taken over the world in just a short span of time and we have seen so many layoffs millions of jobs replaced by ai and what not and you don't want to get affected by this recession wave right well i can assure you that ai won't replace you but the person using ai will surely so if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career join our 3r ai tools workshop in which we'll teach you about the best ai tools to upskill yourself increase your productivity and also enhance your career make your future secure with us join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description now and let's continue the video ahead so to access single store you need to have my sql installed and i am going to do this right now installing it via npm then in the single store admin dashboard i want to head to workspace and create a new database i am simply going to call it single store with that and now i want to connect this up by using an api so i am going to create a new file here called db.js and then if i head back to the documentation i can see that there's already a script to connect to it through node.js and i am going to copy paste that and then all i have to do is simply replace the values over here at the very top the first is the url for the workspace so you can head over to actions and click connect directly select your app and then copy the url here for the single store instance 
and this it will paste it into the host next is the username and the password the username is admin and the password is preset but since i don't know it i am just going to reset it using a strongly new generated password and finally the name of the database which i just called it single store earlier i can try to run this up in node passing in not tv.js and i can see that a successful connection to a single store has been made here back in single store and now we need to create database tables and structure the database if i view it currently has no tables no views no functions nothing it's completely empty so i'm going to create a couple of tables and some data so that i can get it ready to populate with my youtube comments so let me create this i'm going to head over to the sql editor and i'm going to create a new table using sql format and and here it will use auto increment as well as capture things like the comment id commenter and the comment itself i'll have some rows for the gpt whatever i should flag or respond to the comments the only thing left now is to run this command which i'll do this and this will create this new table inside of the database I, and if i head over to the single store and select comments there it is time to put this together and populate it using the youtube api headed to the inserting row to the database and if you see in the documentation there was a function here to create an operation and this operation was to insert data into a table rather than the sample i added this to be a comment and insert into my comments table and then i'll also use the different types of value here such as commenter id comment gpt flag and i added in some question marks will be, which will be populated by an object i'll pass in which will include all these values i also opted add the attribute for connection to be the same as what the one i am using in my main function and finally i'm going to call this execute command so i'm going to paste this in after we establish a connection to the database and i'm going to update the connection as well as the content itself to be a comment and this comment will be a json object with some sample data just for testing right now and if i run the command not dot js i can see i have connected to single store and i have also inserted the row if i jump into single store and jump into the database i can see the sample data shown i can see the sample data shows the row right there and now we need to populate the database with the youtube comments now i'm going to combine the database as well as the youtube api for the most part as i can copy paste most of that syntax across the index.js file but because we are going to use import statement i am going to update the syntax here not to use require but to use imports instead next i am going to copy over the connection method so let me copy across the variables that i have connected to single store i'll also copy across the function to insert any data into my single store table and finally i'll copy over the main function here which is most of the interaction is happening my plan is to build out most of the upi youtube api inside of the main function but in order to do this i need to turn this youtube function into an async promise that i can use and await because currently the google api does not provide do currently because google apis do not provide that so to do that i'll simply create a new async function called get youtube comments there is some extra code here to write to a comments.json file i won't be using this anymore since i'll be writing to the database so i'll remove it and i might cut out this function and create a new promise inside this and the promise will resolve once i get the data from the youtube list i can copy this function and reuse it anywhere and i'm going to use it in my main function I'm going to create a new variable here called the comments. I'm going to await the results that come back from calling the YouTube APIs and then I'll create a loop for I loop through all the comments based on how many is in there in the array for each one. I'll populate this database inserting that data into single store right now. I still have my sample data in here so I'll pass it in the comments with this i for the index from the array passing in things like the id as well as the commenter and the commenter itself github copilot is good as it fills out the syntax for this so i'll just let it come auto complete but if i wanted to jump i could jump into the json file to have a look at the correct nesting for each one of these variables and that is it and now i can run the index.js file and i should see it start to populate all the comments straight into the database now and now we need to connect to open api app I'm going to connect up with the OpenAI and ChatGPT. I'll head to the developer section of the OpenAPI's website. And the first thing I need to do is install their package, which allows me to access their models. I'll install it here in console by running npm install OpenAI. Next, I need an API key. You'll need your own account. I'm just going to log in with mine that I created earlier. And then I'm going to head over to the menu on the top right and select view API keys. And I'll generate a new secret key. This is something you want to remain private and then i'm going to paste this into a new file where i want to create a connection to open api and call this file ai.js and here i'll paste and here i'll paste in the key and other items i also needed is the organization id which you can find here under settings and then i'll create a connection by copying over the syntax that open ai has have as a starter template to be able to connect it to their api and i'll paste it in their organization id as well as the api key here in the configuration next i'll jump into open ai's document engine 
under API references and create completion. I'll copy out this code, which essentially I can plug straight into my AI files because it basically queries DaVinci and then I'll console log out the responses here and then test this out in the terminal. Here it should say that this is a test and the response that is indeed with the test with the API connection to open a config. And now I can put it into a database file essentially calling out different database entries then have open api access and process them and start doing this on the db.js file what i am going to do is copy out this main function that i previously had create a new one but it's going to be slightly different and this time i'm going to call it update database using gpt and this time we are going to read the database and then use open api to make changes i'm going to call it down here and i'm going to cancel out other content which i won't be using i'll comment out main.js and jump to the AI.js file to copy out the open AI configuration. I'll go to the top of the file and import this configuration so it can be initialized and I'll cut out the response and I'll place that inside of my new function. I'll use this shortly but for the time being I need to read from my data database and in order to do that I'm going to jump back into single store copy over the documentation for reading rows from the database and plug this as a async function and I can make and I can make a few small changes first instead of just selecting a few different attributes I'm going to select a star so it gets all the information i'll put this from my comment table and i won't have a uh, where section where i'll just have pulled in for the time being and return all the rows not just the first one and i'll update the connection method using the iron label and here is a single store connection now i can call this function and i'm going to save it to a variable called comments i'll run i'll run the constant comment sql awaits and read and then pass in the connection method and then i'll console then i'll create a console log so that i can see exactly what comments are coming out moving forward i want to create a loop here i'm going to loop through the comments and then i want to call the api from an o, o, ai each time i do, and from an ai each time i do this will be the essence of connecting the database to open as i have created custom prompts in order to define whether or not comments should be responded to so here is my custom prompt and that and guys that is how you can integrate open ai with chat gpt and you can play along with it whatever way you want and that is it for this video if you like the video don't forget to leave a like and also drop a comment if you have any doubts and also don't forget to subscribe b10x and see you in the next video and until then do remember we have an ai tools workshop that is just available for nine rupees and see you in the next video Bye bye